Folks, as you know, it's very positive. As you know, um, one of the reasons why we have to have an IDW, an in, a uh, intellectual dark web, is because we do not uh, allow people to explore enough issues um, in an intellectual way. We punish them too much. For instance, take these children who, um, high school students, they were in a Wisconsin school district. You remember we talked about this. They took a uh, some type of class photo or something like that. Before junior prom, I believe. Before the junior prom. Beardu, Wisconsin. And they're Bear all Boo. giving the Zieg Heil uh, signal. Actually, there was one or two guys in there who did not. They one did guy flashing the uh, three white power three. White thing. power three thing. Uh, now, of course, you know what happens next. These kids, they go on to be suspended in some cases. They get punished. They get reprimanded by their school for partaking in uh, what appears to be a Nazi salute. Oh, wait a second. No, I'm sorry. I got these two stories confused. Nothing happened to the kids with the Nazi salute. However, um, you'll recall that uh, high school threatened to punish students who kneel during the anthem. Mm. Right. And, of course, uh, there was that girl who wore the cornrows to school. I think that's a pretty common problem. And uh, was punished because of what it expresses about cornrows. Yeah. So there you have it, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I am sure Dave Rubin and others in the intellectual dark web will be spending hour after hour on their... They're going to... Dave Rubin will interview uh, one of the Weinstein uh, brothers, and then the Weinstein brothers will interview Ben Shapiro, and then Ben Shapiro will interview Dave Rubin, and Dave Rubin will interview the Weinsteins with Ben Shapiro, and then, uh, you know, uh, Peterson will sit in in a round table. All of them will interview Kneeling, each other. that's an interesting concept. And then uh, they will all do a, a question in the round thing, and then they'll shoot a video of all of them eating dinner, asking questions about it. And they will be talking about this ad nauseum, how clearly um, the inability to uh, protest during the anthem is a huge deal for them. Uh, I would imagine that's going to be the next six months of videos. And, of course, YouTube then will all demonetize every single one of their videos because they're so controversial. Uh, and then, of course, the New York Times will write another a feature on all of them for taking up this mantle. And uh, let's not let Baraboo out of the news. It's interesting what's going on in this town. Um, this is from the Baraboo News Republic. Um, a, a Guardian says, I'm frustrated that, uh, with that because, you know, I see Baraboo being divided between let's figure out what we can do so this never happens again on one side and the other side saying, oh, but the boys didn't mean it, Blodgett said. You know, it doesn't matter if the boys meant it or not. The fact is, the fact is, the picture's out there. And yeah, I think Baraboo should be associated with this picture until they take uh, proactive measures to make sure this doesn't happen again. Right, of course. This is what this town should be known for.